What is up, people of YouTube? Um, so today I'm about to go, um, I'm about to go get a damn bucket seat for my car, so I'm excited for that. Um, I'm gonna get back again, but why are you gonna put a bucket seat in the yards? Well, I don't care. I like the look of it. I'm doing it. Um, some guy selling that I know, so I'm gonna go pick it up. Um, this video won't be up within like a day or two just because I have no internet to upload it. If not, I'll just go somewhere on my sister's laptop, and I'm not gonna bring the uh, camera because I'm literally I'm about to die. So I'm gonna come back and record. I'm gonna put the camera on charge. So when I come back, I can record the seat for you guys. So that's cool. So uh, I'm gonna do that. Pick up my paycheck today as well. So yeah, you're gonna see me whenever I come back with the chair and everything. All right. Bah. Back again. It's night time now. I know. I, when I, actually, when I left you guys, it was like 3:30. Came back and um, there it is, guys. There's a chair. Yeah, guys, got myself a bucket chair from my car. I'm actually super excited, super stoked. Look at the back of it. Yeah, look at that, guys. Um, I'm super stoked for this. Not only the fact that because it's a bucket chair because it's going to feel way much better honestly when I sat in that chair for the first time because the guy that owned the chair I sat in the car that the chair was in man I was like yo this is so comfortable wake up I don't know why but it's comfortable than my stock chair and I was like that's amazing so I'm like you know what he was like to me actually surprised I was like man he was like, I told him I was like I'm thinking about actually getting one but I wasn't sure if I should or not he said listen in a couple of weeks I'm selling this chair um, whenever you see it, I'm gonna just go to my page in a couple of weeks, and then when it's if it's on there, message me and we can talk from then. I'm gonna write whatever. And a couple of weeks later, I checked on his page because I randomly remember the whole day he probably posted it. He posted it, and then I was like, you know what? I'm come go grab that. He's like, come ahead, go ahead. You know, come grab it. Don't mind, you know, whatnot. So I was like, okay, boom, and I grabbed it. So what I wanted to tell you guys was, look, you guys may be asking, but listen. It's used. You can see that it's used. It is used. See right there, it's a little used. You know, you can sell, you know, there's a rip right there. There's a tear. But listen, please don't talk shit, guys. Don't talk shit, please. I know there's a tear, and I know this. But think about it. Buying one of these brand new, we're running you about $400 to $500. It's the specific kind I got, too. You know what I'm saying? It's a reclinable slide one. For I got it for a good price. Okay, I got this chair for a great price. I got it for a steal. Understand it's not in the best condition, but come on, man. It's going to be used. If that wasn't there, if this wasn't there, I would somehow correct that. I know me. I would correct that somehow. I know I don't have any in my car right now, but listen, I could get that stitched up. That's no problem. That could be stitchable. That's stitchable right there. Just stitch right up in the, in the, in the whole paint. He said straight up. You could just paint it here, but I'm not going to paint it. But still, that's this is a steal, okay? To me, it's a steal. To me. Not really. Not to me. But it is a steal. <laughs> um, I got it for a good price. I know it's kind of oh, not in good shape, but it's comfortable. It's 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 everything that you could ever imagine in a bucket seat, but it just has a little wear and tear. You know what I'm saying? I was going to go for a red one. Yes, the red one would have looked way much better in my car. But I only got one driver one, so that just matches my car all in all. Because all the rest of the interior would be, you know, black. It's a black seat. Like, again, man, I don't care. Like, I looked at the chair. I was like, I don't know. I don't know how I felt at first about the chair because of the rip. And I thought about it, I'm like, why should I care about the rip? It's going to be that for somebody not to care about something like that, you know, understand. Oh, you, you get rid of a perfectly good chair. I'm a dumbass for some reason. I'm getting rid of, rid of a perfectly good chair for a chair that has a tear in it. Think about that for a chair. But you're getting this chair for steel. And the, this, to make this chair look good will cost me not that much money. Because for imagine, imagine this. I get the chair for $400, $500. I still got to spend money to get the bracket that matches my car. So the chair would match to fit in my car. I had to buy the chair and I had to buy the bracket. That cost me way cheaper than that. I still, that's like a few hundred dollars 
cheap now I'm saying like a couple hundred dollars cheaper than what this chair would be brand new and I'm telling you this chair I'm saying it's not the best condition it's not in the best condition I never said it was in the best condition but this chair right here I don't know why I'm doing a little rant but this chair is a good chair it's a good chair you sit in it you would be like okay, fuck the rip fuck the wear it has fuck all of that I can make it look good anytime I want but I'm, my purpose to buy this chair wasn't to be, it's gonna be. I'm gonna sit in. I'm a bigger guy than the guy that owned it. So imagine me with the damage I'm gonna do to the chair. So I got it for a good price. It looks good. I still like it. If you were to look at the car, if you didn't look detail into this chair, you wouldn't even realize it's torn up, worn out. For real, like if you were just to see the chair in the car, you'd be oh snap, it's in this chair. I don't give a fuck, man. I really don't give a fuck. But I was gonna get red, but then I thought about it. If that's the wear on a black chair. And the tear on a black chair, just imagine what would ha happen to a red chair, you know? And plus, if it's not leather, I kind of don't want it, you know what I mean? But, I know, guys, this was longer than I expected. I did get the chair. I got the brackets as well. That's not to go do. I drove literally, like, almost an hour to Clearwater to order the bracket. Drove 45 minutes to the guys how to pick it up. And then drive almost an hour back to the house. Today was a long day. I left the house at 3, came back at 8, so... Just doing that for the chair. That's how motivated and dedicated I was to get that chair. So me doing all that just to buy this chair. Me coming to the guy's house and being like, no, I don't want the chair. It's like, why did I just buy the bracket? So I was like, now nah, you know what? I'm going. In. I'm going through with it. Um, <clears throat> got a good for a good price. I'm I'm glad with the purchase. As long as I'm glad, fuck what everybody else has to say. That's what you want. Um, I do appreciate you guys for checking it in, tuning in today's episode, today's video. Um. My internet came back on, the guy came over, so that's good. So yeah, um, if you like the video, like it. If you like my channel, subscribe. Do what you gotta do to survive, and peace. <laughs>